Today we're busting steak mints. What is the best way to prepare the perfect steak? Do you flip it once? Do you flip it multiple times? Can you cook it from frozen? Sounds pretty freaking crazy to me. Do any of these methods actually matter or are these just myths peddled from chef to chef waiting to be busted? To find out, we've assembled a highly trained team of serious culinary professionals <laughs> to put them to the task. Because this is Myth Munchers! Myth Munchers! Munchers. Yeah. That was awesome. Thank you so Whoa, much. Whoa, were you in Monkey you? Man? Yeah, <laughs> my name is Dev Patel. Today we are busting steak mints. We've done this once before, but we only use the same kind of steak. We use ribeye, and then we tried to see all the methods that would make it the best. However, now we are using different kinds of steaks. There's so much variety out there, so we're gonna see which myths hold up and which ones don't. First up, how do you get the best crust? Do you flip it once? Do you flip it multiple times? We'll find out. Two, best way to get the most even cook. We're gonna go room temp. I think that's myth, we'll figure it out. Myth number three, how do you prevent that gray band that everyone hates on their steaks? We're gonna see if you keep in the pan, get in the oven next. Tenderness when you cut a steak, do you always gotta go against the grain or sometimes is it just comfortable to be with the herd of wildebeest flying through the savannah? Myth munchers, we got the mints that we got to munch. You guys are gonna write down your guesses, but before we go any further, my official tips for summer fashion. One, don't buy any new clothes. Two, cut all the sleeves and all of the legs off of your old clothes, then you get new garments. George, mix the fashion statement of jeans with the flex <laughs> of a Speedo, you get great mobility on your front squads. Don't worry about the shadow man there. Finally, feel that release, brother. Take all your clothes off. Fashion is a distraction from our base state. Nudity is the only freedom. Feel that return to nature. Buy a tree, eat nuts, train in bow and arrow, track hunters and poachers in the wild, turn them into the object of your own hunt, a final hunt, the last struggle that you alone understand. Don't look back at the cities and towns, snatch a bird from the air. Go vegan, take a nap in a tree. Don't leave the tree, never leave the tree. We don't trust the ground people, their filth, their spit, and their trash. Sports, <laughs> my back is totally fine. We got the sports boys in the house. Boys yes, we do. Term. We're busting steak myths yes, we are. today. And this myth that we we're busting, it is do you flip the steak once, which I grew up once. hearing everyone on Food Network be like, if you flip it multiple times, mm -hmm. you lose the juices, which never made any sense. Like it's just a cup of water that you're tipping over. It's Versus do you flip it multiple times? Multiple times. When you flip it only once, you're getting a really, really deep crust on that mm -hmm. steak, but which then you're mm -hmm. also letting heat penetrate it a lot. If okay. you flip it multiple times and you're sort of not letting heat penetrate and still getting the total amount of surface area heat connection on a hot pan. Or these pans are about to just straight up. Yeah, so we should just in get it in there. Season your damn food by uh, now uh, 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 Season up them steaks. Mind if I dust you up? What are you doing? Dude, you're talking like the Swedish chef right now. Hurt it, hurt it, hurt it. Pop your steak in and, you and three, two, one, go. Ooh, We're not testing so. this myth. I like to pat it down at the back of my hand a little bit. Okay. Make sure I'm you get that same. connection flush. Ooh. Every 25 seconds, we got a timer going, Nicole? Me and Betsy are connected. Yeah. Start that timer. And three, two, go. Okay, so after 25 seconds, like you're, you it's can see. It's already a crust. nice crust, though. You can see the crust developing. Rip right. on a hot pan in the cast iron. There are so many different nice. ways nice. to cook steak. We're going to take this all the way through in the pan. A lot of people uh -huh. will tell you to oven roast it. We're not doing sous vide, no. reverse sear, any of that right now. I'm just gonna be here vibing. Flip! Flip! Not me though. Flip! You wanna get on flipping? This is actually really cool for if you got stuff to do at your apartment, like me, and I like to do other things, like go take a poop, and uh, yeah. your my steak just chills in the cast iron. No, that's a real chef technique, poop steak. Poop steak. It's great, it's however long You watch it, it from you. the bathroom, because I can see my kitchen directly from the bathroom, <laughs> and that's how I wash my steak. No, you don't do it's that, It's on the toilet, you? I'm like this. <laughs> flip! Is it me flip? I flip! If I can only take a 22 second nice. poop, I think that I can flip this still on time. Can I'm gonna I, time I go? you the next time. After the next flip, I'm gonna run to the bathroom. Run! Hold on. 
Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go! Watch your hands! Watch your hands! Hello and welcome back to the steak show. With me, V, and Josh, who just came back from taking a poop. That's why I'm breathing so heavy and I got a little bit of sweat on me. I flipped the steak 17 times, which means I had to take 17 bowel movements, which is about four and a half percent of a satisfying bowel movement. I do not recommend that technique. However... Is that why you were waddling like that? <laughs> yeah, it sure was, dude. Uh, I call it the no wipe technique. This steak was only flipped once. We got a very heavy sear on it. Nice. Uh, it cooked at almost the same time as the steak that was flipped literally 17 times, and they both have good sears on it. There's not much of a distinguishable difference from the outside, but when mm. we cut into it, we'll see what we find. Yeah, right. see if it cooks we throw evenly. That, throw that steak on the cutting board. Love it. <laughs> Drop it on there. Yeah. Do you think this is more Outback, Denny's, or uh, what's the other one that sells steak? The Sizzler? The Sizzler. Oh, my grandma loved the Sizzler. Rest in peace, people. R.I.P. Man, I'm gonna take a Sizzler 9.99 senior discount sirloin nice. and put it on her grave. Yeah, we got a nice oh, like nice, pretty. Like, nice like medium cook on it, nice. which uh, medium is about how I like to eat a ribeye. So I more... absolutely love it this way. If it's darker than this, don't talk to me. Yeah, and if it's too rare ribeye, you don't melt the fat. But I mean, a little bit of a gray yeah. ring on it. That you... not too bad though. It's not too bad, but you generally don't want the gray ring on a steak. And again, mm. we cook this only in the pan, which is really unique. Um, let's see how this one looks. Nice. Take off the cap and just cut the eye right now. Uh, the, the eye? Yeah, so this is like Is the, that what it's called? That's what I call it, right? You got the cap and the eye. This is called the decal. That's a really nice steak by itself. Decal? It looks like a bird. Against the grain. Can you see it? What? It looks like a bird? Yeah, you see it? That's the beak. That's the head. Dude, that's this the is body. a weird Rorschach test. I don't know if we're ready for that. This looks like my parents fighting. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> All right, let's check this out. Holy oh, snap. smokes. The ring is not as heavy. Much less of a, see here, we got a lot of heat penetration with that gray Ooh. ring. We're gonna test out specific gray ring myths next yes. um, with other stuff, but like Itchy. big heat penetration there, not so much here. Let's see how it uh, matters in the taste. This matters. Wait. This is also a test. Yeah, big gray ring. The flop test, what are you testing on this? I don't like this. <laughs> <Why not? laughs> We're already too close as coworkers. <laughs> True, we shared corn once. That was the worst thing we've ever done. Is we <laughs> shared a corn on the cob, and it wasn't I eat half, you eat half. No, it was like back and we forth. We bit the same spot. <laughs> Straight up better. Way better. Straight up way, way better. better. I like the crust better. I like the fatty. Yeah, the crust even like got like a little bit more developed on it. They look somewhat similar. Mm -hmm. Dude, continuous flipping. Emerald, you were wrong. Go on your 21 poop breaks just to flip all those steaks. <laughs> yeah, don't do it. Do don't do that do though. It. I think, mm, no, I think do I, it. I got hemorrhoids now. Don't do that. Well, you know what that means, V? That this myth has been much. Hey, Trevor. Hi. What's up, dude? Not much. See, because they were the sports guys and we're the arts girlies. Yeah, we're, we're theater fans. We listen to Chaparone and cry. Heck yeah. Well, we saw that continuous flip one, which is very important and very interesting. I say we implement it, but let's be a little bit more relaxed. I don't think we need a stopwatch. I don't think we need a timer. Okay. But we're gonna be testing what temperature your steak has to be in order to make it the most tender and delicious. So um, I was always taught room temperature was the best because the fat melts already. It's already at room temp, which creates a more even delicious cook out of the fridge. As you can see, it is the meat. You can even see the fat. Like you see how this is turned a little bit pinkish. A little droopy. It's it's pink. quite yeah. It's almost like body horror esque. Shout out to Cronenberg if you know you know. Uh, everyone in video village is like ah oh my god. Um, out of the fridge, you can see the fat is hard and white, and you can see the marbling. It's it's quite it's hard quite and white. white, just like me. <laughs> Do I need to call HR? <laughs> and then frozen, you can see it really is. Oh it God. is frozen. It's a frozen puck of meat. This is gonna take a long, I was gonna say, a long ass that? time to cook. Um, I don't know. I've seen this on like the internet a lot, and people say, "Oh, it makes the most beautiful sear. It makes the most beautiful, soft, delicious steak." So we're gonna How's find it gonna out. Gonna make the most beautiful sear. It's not even gonna get full pan contact. No, I know. And on top of that, I don't know how any seasoning is gonna stick to this either. <laughs> but whatever. Let's let's see what this is all about. All the people saying frozen is the best are like the the fourteen year old kids that forgot to take the meat out of the freezer when yeah. their mom said really? to. My mom yeah. didn't even trust me with that kind of responsibility. She's <laughs> like, no, you're gonna forget. I actually don't think my mom ever even asked me, really? so. Okay, that's fine. Do you, want me to, do you want me to salt your frozen steak for you? Sure, yeah, sure. if you'd like to. No you problem. Got salt. No problem. Speaking of our salt well, look how gorgeous it is. Look at this. It's marble. It's wooden on the top. Yeah. And it says... Season your damn food. There we go. You yeah. can pick it up at mythical.com, mythicalstore.com. What website do we use? What website do we own? Mythical.com. Yeah? Thanks, Trevor. 
Who cooks a steak? This is so seems so unnatural to me. I Who know. Who cook I a know. steak from frozen? It sounds very silly, but I've seen the internet. The internet is full of silly, goofy people. Trevor, okay. we know that. I don't think we know that. We're I've never seen. <laughs> me and you are nothing, nothing if not silly and goofy. I honestly, I, I don't know. I could see how maybe like cooking it from frozen mm -hmm. and giving it a slower cook time would maybe help with like the graying. Yeah. Like it possibly. could give it more, more of an even like longer cook time. I, I just, I don't know. But that's like the antithesis of of like why it's room temp, you know? But what to be fair, I'm guessing they're similar in terms of like it's completely frozen, right? Yeah. So the outside is just a little bit warmer than the inside, while this is a little bit warmer on the outside and a little bit colder in the middle. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We're gonna find out. This is fun. I feel like a scientist. I guess that's why we do the show. Yeah. While our steaks are cooking up, Trevor, I want to know your top five summer artists. Well, okay, first off, Sabrina Carpenter. I mean, that's that me espresso, am I right? Yeah, Come on. It is. And we've yeah. got Chapel Roan. Okay. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, it's a feminine phenomenon. Yeah. Okay. You know, for me, it got to be Olivia Rodrigo. You really? Uh, I love Olivia Rodrigo. Interesting. Um, I've been listening to a lot of Renee rap as well. Oh, I saw Mean Girls last night. Yeah. I liked it, but I will say I am I'm a I'm a Regina George purist. Okay. And I love Rachel McAdams as um, is Regina George. Flip it! I thought that Renee Rapp was awesome. I thought she I, was awesome. I'm so sad. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> it's a brick. <laughs> Sorry, uh, a little aside, it is a cooking show. Uh, the room temperature steak, you can see it's kind of expanded a little bit. The meat mm. isn't as shriveled up and it's not holding itself together like out of the fridge or frozen. Mm -hmm. You can see it, it's almost chilled out a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just it's just, it's just, just smooth and chill on the beach, bro. <laughs> And it's hard. It's hard as it's, it's hard it's, as heck. I will say it did get a pretty even sear. I uh -huh. was kind of skeptical that it wouldn't be getting a lot of like good pan contact, yeah. but okay. it's 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 impressive. It yeah. So we're just gonna cook these up, wait till they get to about 120, pull them. We're gonna remember what time we pulled them to and compare them. Woo! Okay, Trevor, the world's been waiting. What's your final top artist of the summer? My final top artist of the summer. Lynn Manuel Miranda, Hamilton is back, baby. Ooh, I loved In the Heights. Yeah, In the Heights is awesome. But I only say I'm from Queens. That was really good. <laughs> we have steak. <laughs> that was a big mistake. Okay, um, <laughs> we pulled our room temperature one at 12 minutes, our out of the fridge at 14.5 minutes, and then our frozen steak took approximately 29 whole minutes to cook. 29 minutes, but we, up. But we did pull them all at 120 and we have let them rest for quite a while. So let's see which one is cooked the most evenly, shall we? Okay, let's see this room temperature steak. Let's see what we're working with. Okay. Yay. That is that is very 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 ugly. <laughs> yeah, is that is an unattractive steak. Hmm, let's see how it tastes, shall we? Yeah. Here, you want to cut into it? It's just like the sizzler. Just like just the sizzler. Just the sizzler. Oh, oh, I don't love it. Mm. Sorry, it's just a really big it's, bite. I don't mm -hmm. know why. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's the most even. I would say that it, it looks it looks like it's a bunch of different colors in here, and it doesn't taste very enjoyable yeah and the cook the cook doesn't look like it's it did much you know what i mean no yeah like it uh, unironically it is like kind of a sizzler cook on a steak like yeah. it is very just like eh you know yeah here we go out the fridge Let's this is how i cook my steaks i think that i'm a guy that like i i go out of the fridge usually mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this seems a little bit more even surprisingly mm. you can see it's a little bit more even there's there the gray banding isn't as intense but it looks like it's it's a lot more even than our room temperature counterpart over here. No. The room temperature also did feel like it lost quite a bit of juice. That's it's right. Not as juicy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. The fat is rendered nicely. It is a New York strip. This is a lot more enjoyable. Mm-hmm. I feel like out of the fridge, I think because everything was so sucked up together and it didn't have time to relax, it created a really interesting even cook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Frozen. <laughs> the, the, the tour de force of the steaks. <laughs> the 30 minute steak. <laughs> By the time we took this steak off of the burner, this was at like 50 degrees. Yeah, that's awesome. That's well, that's the temperature that some people like their steak. This okay. one? Okay. Okay, let's touch, yeah, okay. Not bad, the fat looks nicely rendered. Looks a little, looks even. The crust is nice on this. Yeah, I was I anticipating like it would be like all burnt and gross, but it's 
It's actually kind of attractive. Oh, crisp. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. So surprisingly enough, the frozen one is the most juiciest and it has the most even cook. And I think the reason why the room temperature one wasn't, I think it's the second the room temperature meat hits the pan, it doesn't allow enough time for that meat to, uh, enough time for that fat to render out. So it creates an uneven cooking experience. Yeah. While the frozen one, everything is just cold. Dude, what? What the f so are we saying though that frozen is better than out of the fridge? Well, we have to consider how much damn time it took to cook a simple steak, you know? And we threw it in the oven for a little bit because again, it was at 40, what, 54 degrees by the time this one came to temperature. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know that the frozen is better enough to justify it taking twice as long yeah, to cook and I don't just think so. being more annoying in general. I think we are gonna say out of the fridge? Out of the fridge! That's crazy. And it looks like this myth has been munched. munched. What a trip. <laughs> Josh, where my hug at? Nothing makes me want to hug people less than asking where my hug is at. Where my hug at? Do you, would you like would you like me to hug you like okay, okay, that's Aww. that's it's, oh god. That's I don't know. No, when people anyways, today <laughs> we are we're testing out how to prevent gray banding. We yes. talked about that in the first beat, mm -hmm. right? When we got a fair amount of gray banding, just finishing it mm -hmm. with one flip in the pan. We found you can reduce that with flipping it multiple times, but now we're gonna see if we can take it even farther to reduce that by flipping it multiple times. Putting it in the uh, oven. Putting it in the oven. So that way you're getting like ambient heat, not just direct pan contact, cooking it. We got fillets, because we're not only sports boys, we're fancy boys. boys yeah! Want to do we're on varsity, so we get fillets. So we're also gonna butter base this. Filet mignon is, it's like not cool to like filet anymore. That's like a very Gordon Gecko-ass steak. Um, <laughs> you know what, I don't know all the, Me. like literally the numbers have shifted. Filet was mm -hmm. the world's favorite steak like okay. 30 years ago. Now it is ribeye. Ribeyes to me, they're like, they're oh, too, too fatty, They're too, fatty. Uh, too big. I love What's a ribeye, but you need to add supplemental fat, so we're gonna need butter basting. Um, okay. Okay, We're getting ready. this in the pan? Yeah. All right. Pan me. Do it up. I mean, oil what? me. I'm not gonna oil you up. I'm, listen, I'll give you a hug. That's that's the extent of our relationship in terms of that V. Uh, who are your five artists of the summer? Okay, okay, okay. Um, Kendrick, uh, this new female group called the Cuzzos. They're from Compton, they're really dope. Um, I love Lotto. I've been listening to a lot of jazz and like chill vibes lately. So well, Tomasi F Washington up in there? FKJ is one of them. And Masego, nice. those are my top five. Ask me mine. What are your top five? Cattle decapitation, make them suffer, worm rot, clown core, and Charlie XCX, lover. Oh. Woo. All right, we got some butter in here. I'm gonna baste it, get nice. that in the oven, get it nice and foamy, add some supplemental fat to an otherwise very lean steak. Nice. People say it has no flavor, it got a good flavor. I'm just getting my sides real quick, making sure you're getting cool. nice. And you're gonna baste that at the end, yeah? Yes, I am. All right, beautiful, we're gonna pop this in an oven. It's about 400 degrees, we're gonna temp it. We're gonna pull it probably about 115. I think you can eat filet a little bit more rare than your ribeyes. Nice. We'll be back. Where's Krayshawn at? So then you got Live Conform Die out of Australia, right? Now they're taking elements of new metal and rap core, combining it to a new genre called new core. You might look at Kim Dracula or like Alpha Wolf also out of Australia, kind of doing a similar genre, but I think they're actually really distinctly different. Um, That did not translate to steak at all. Oh shoot, steaks are done. Hold these at about 112. That's really big gray banding on this super one. Super big. So this was a quite thick steak. You're seeing that like huge, the gray ring of death right there. It's a perfect nice. medium rare in the center, but like completely overdone on the outside. Mm -hmm. See how it actually tastes though, compared to this one, which you put in the oven. They both took about the same time to cook, yeah? Yeah, for sure. Interesting. Oh. That. I'm about to put them side by side. Also pretty big gray band. I mean, yeah, you're it searing really it. really similar. No matter what, you are getting a lot of pan contact, mm -hmm. which is going to create that gray band. And when you have such a big steak like this, like this is almost as thick as it is wide, you're gonna get a lot of that gray band, unless you just flip it like a continuously or, yeah. or you're doing like a reverse sear where you bring it up to temp slowly, but mm -hmm. getting that much pan contact on it, I'm not seeing any difference in that gray band. No, not really. I don't know, you taste this it side by side? This actually looks thicker. Yeah, the one really in the does. oven. Yeah, somehow the oven steak got wow. a thicker gray band and not as much of a cook. Because if you think about mm -hmm. it, when you put the steak in the oven, your steak is still resting on a super hot pan that right. just came off of a sear. So you're still getting 
that pan contact. And right. if anything, maybe the heat isn't penetrating as much as we think, despite mm. it being like a big old sauna in there. Mm -hmm. Whereas you were continuously flipping it, like we found out, trying to eliminate the gray band. Just that might literally just be a better cooking method. This is actually changing the way that I'm gonna eat steak from now on. This is the one that's quicker. The pan. A little bit. Mmm. Okay. I have a rare ash fillet, man. Just a good steak. I have a rare ash fillet. I did not think this would be the case. Well, you know what that means, V. What? This myth must. <laughs> no, this myth must us. us. Now for the ceremonial carving of the steaks, V, my knife. Oh my god, whoa, whoa, this is so unsafe. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> my knife! Everybody grew up learning that you should cut against the grain. When we are talking about the grain, we're talking about effectively the ways in which the muscle fibers are flowing. We're using a hanger steak. You see the grain is physically like flowing down. You can see it pulled in apart like an accordion. The idea is you slice against the grain and that way you're sort of like breaking up those muscle fibers so you can more easily chew it. The way I would do this, if you slice it against the grain, you're getting long strips. So I would slice that way first and then Slice it like this. Oh, do you guys have any opinions about this? Do you guys like slice steaks a certain way or do you try and find the grain? When I go out to eat steaks, I like it when they just give me a big hunk of meat and I can like choose my own adventure. Yeah. I Same. hate it. I don't make me do the work. You should be better. You should be better than me. No way. I think it tastes so much better when it's whole like that. The grain's slowing this way, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut Your this. Elbow I, is what dangerous. do what do you mean I my elbow's dangerous? You're stand. Stand. that's a fair point. I asked my girlfriend Waven to cut my steak for me. It's incredible, That's Trevor. Romantic. I love that for you. Nicole, can you pop that back on the plate? Absolutely, boss. This is interesting. If you look with the grain, you can literally see the muscle fiber oh. slowing, so your teeth are gonna have to like rip through that. Mm. But I'm still kind of interested I to see what it I have good like. teeth for them. I like doing that sometimes. Is that weird? And then whole cutting yourself. Should I just hack it like people, the way people like cut a steak? Yeah, hack yeah, at it. Just, uh, yeah, yeah. 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 You gotta cut little. How yeah. are the kids? How's the Timmy? family? Ah, oh, Timmy's Dude, playing roller so hockey now. I told him, Timmy. We live in California, what the hell do you know about hockey? Is Tracy still drunk? Oh, Tracy, Jeez. who are gonna even say about Tracy? Tracy's been drunk since 1993. Okay, great. That's what I was born There we go. Okay. Let us see which one is more tender, which one provides the best eating experience. Where are we going first? Do we have utensils? No. Against. Okay, whatever, <laughs> I'm just gonna eat like a cave woman. This is, what a beautiful little meat accordion. Mm -hmm. That's actually my pet name for Julia. I say, hello, my beautiful meat accordion. It's so I don't like that at all. Disgusting. No, it's actually kind of nasty. Not the yeah. steak, the nickname. I'm sorry, I don't know why I said that. Julia, I love you. Hanger steak is a pretty tough piece of meat. It yeah. Really, it doesn't taste that yeah. tough, though. No, no. I think it's because it's against the grain. That's excellent. With the grain. Mm. 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 It's very easy to chew. It pulls apart in like a completely different manner, right? Mm -hmm. It's a little bubble mm. gummy. It is, yeah. It's chewier. Like, your teeth literally cannot get through it as easily because you have these larger muscle fibers. Trevor, what's up? I, what what do you, Nicole was the one laughing. I'm just giggling. I'm not trying to jump in Bro, I'm literally just vibing. <gasps> Cube sucks. <laughs> what do you mean? I kind of like you. I hate this, man. I don't like I wanna it. I want to go home. Sucks. I don't like being here. I'm the only one who likes sucks. it. I don't, want to I don't like it. See, that was an overreaction. I'm going to eat the middle, though. Wait, this is so crazy because I don't like the whole stick, but I like the with and the against. Yeah, you you should be asking for people who are professional mm -hmm. slicers to slice your steak in the best manner. To me, there's a very clear cut winner here. To me, you really should slice your steak against the grain. You can yeah. feel mm -hmm. how like much smaller the muscle fibers are when you pull it apart with your teeth, and it just gives a better eating experience. I ah, mean, I don't, I'm no. this myth oh. munched us. This all right, all right, all right. one, two, one, three. three. This, this myth munched us. us. Myth munchers. Yeah. What's up, man? We cooked a bunch of steaks. Uh, how are you feeling? Sleepy? Um, I'm full. I'm pretty constipated. We all smell like meat. We're all constipated. We're all sleepy. But the important <laughs> thing is we have learned that you flip a steak continuously in the pan. We did every 25 seconds. It really does make a better cook than just flipping your steak once yep. and letting all that heat penetrate. We also found out that you can cook a steak straight out the fridge and it probably ends up better than room temperature. Room temperature, the fat melted too quickly. Even if you get a really hard sear on it, that inside is coming up to temp really fast. Out of the fridge seems to be the perfect middle ground. Frozen just took half an hour to cook. You don't need to mm -hmm. do that. Then we found out to prevent graying, 
Finishing it in the pan and continuously flipping is even better than throwing it in the oven to prevent that great ring of death running through your steak. Again, so much of this is about limiting heat penetration in your steak, and we have really learned a lot. Penetrate. Bro, meat, penetration, Penetrate. busting. This episode is crazy. I'm trying to do my job, Trevor. Crazy education. A mockery of it. <laughs> uh, what did I say, meat accordion? All right, and then finally, in terms of tenderness, when you're actually slicing the steak, going against the grain, finding where those muscle fibers are running, going across it actually does make it a lot more tender, especially then carving it with the grain and even just serving a whole piece of meat and kind of willy-nilly cutting it with a steak knife. Educational and innuendical. Yes, that's Big time. Word. And meaty. And meaty. Nicole, what'd you guess? How much did you get right? Continuous frozen oven and it doesn't matter slash whole. Eat your steak with the grain, eat it without, whatever. I unfortunately only got one right as a steak person. I'm so upset. You are a fraud. Trevor, how <laughs> much did you get right? Flip once, room temp, finish in the oven and slice with the grain. I'm at Trevor Everts on all socials. Please go unfollow me. I got zero. <laughs> I need to study up on my meat. You never pretended to be anything you're not. V? Flip once. Room temp, finish in the pan, and whole. Yes, that is what steaks look like. <laughs> I also got one meat. <gasps> uh, Just one meat, that's it. What did you what get? What did you get, Joshi? Continuous, room temperature, oven, against. I didn't remember how many O's and U's were in continuous. I got, got two! I got two! Soy el ganador! I won! You what do you I mean? finally won! I won! I won the money! The money is mine! I won the money! What do you win? I won the money! Well, thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you learned a lot today. I know we sure did. If you want to come down to the mythical offices and get it? some leftover Where steak, the address Where is. What? Where my hug? Finish, your, finish, finish what you're saying. You smell like, I don't What I don't do I smell know. like? Just, well, I, where my hug like, at? Comment, just leave a comment Where's what your favorite kind of steak is. And I'll respond well, to like, all of them My personally. hug, it's missing. I don't want to give you your hug. Where I, is like, it at? Nothing says I want to hug you by saying it. It's like if you have to ask where for a at? hug. If I wanted to hug you, where I would hug you. Going? I would hug you if I wanted where to hug you. And now I don't. Now my hug is still missing. Go to war with bland cooking and start seasoning your damn food with a Mythical Kitchen salt well. Available now at mythical.com.